Shout out to Banning for FightHype.com. I've got my man, the smiling assassin. He always smiles when I see him. You didn't make that name stick, you know. You know, it was I can't though. change the name again, man. It's changed so much time. I think smiling assassin. Yeah. Right? I know, I know. I should have think of it from before. And I came out with that, yeah? Remember that? No, it was there from before still, but I, I, I bust it under the, yeah. the carpet, you know. What's going on, dude? You alright? Nothing, bro. I'm here trying to stay active, trying to train, trying to keep busy in between these fights and you know, while I wait for the big fights, you know? I was going to say, I know you train up in Loughborough when you're yeah. in camp, but looking at you now, it looks like you're looking quite healthy, quite fit, quite sharp. Ready I'm trying, to go. You know, it's hard, man. I'm not really a big guy, so keeping the weight down, I mean, that, you know, at the time, I'm trying to stay healthy, trying to eat clean, so it's difficult, but I'm getting better and better, you know, I'm still learning, still getting the experience, so yeah. Just before I get to yourself, we just saw Joshua and Povetkin on the scales. A lot of people, some people say it's a mismatch. Povetkin's 39 years old, he's past his best. Um, his best performance was Kovetkin when he lost that fight. What do you make of the matchup? I mean, it's a great matchup. I just think Povetkin got too much mileage on the clock. I just believe that um, Joshua wear him down, Joshua stop, and I believe he's coming too light. Whether they're going for speed or whatever, it's a heavyweight fight. So it's only when you fight someone that big, you need a better size and weight behind you because you're gonna have to hold a few thumps, you know. And I think he's just a little bit too light. It'd be a bit easier to manhandle and push around, you know. And Joshua came in 17 stone eight, which is a good weight. For him. You look at Joshua's last couple of fights when he fought Takam, wasn't his great performance, Parker, completely different style. Yeah. Do you expect a more devastating Joshua this time around? Well, he's fighting a, a, a much smaller man, you know, Takam's bigger, Parker is taller and bigger as well, you know, and, and Takam's a good fight on the back foot and front foot, and, and Parker's a very elusive, you know, Perekin's not the most elusive, he gets hit, and I believe that he won't be big enough and strong enough, I'd have to say, you know. What's, what's your prediction, what happens on Saturday? Five, six rounds, maybe seven at push, Perekin's going to get stopped, but the early rounds are dangerous, I reckon he'll try and put an age early, but he'll find that it's, he's a bit too light, won't be physically strong enough.